Stacy Henderson has her life back, but it has been a long four-year journey from coping with severe epilepsy seizures to successful surgery at UAB Hospital. Very, very grateful that um, I was able to find a center that was able to give me my quality of life back. After the birth of her son, Stacy's seizures got worse, and she was ready to try something other than medication. It was hard to care for my own child, and it was hard for me to you know, wake up at night because lack of sleep, again, um, increases your seizures. Um, I could not drive, I could not give my child a bath alone. Stacy set out to find the best level four epilepsy center in the country, researching at visiting facilities in several states. She ended up at UAB, a leader in the field. Good. If you need epilepsy surgery, I really think you have to go to a place that's, that has a great deal of experience and has all of the preoperative evaluation resources to take advantage of them because it is still a very challenging task to do an elective surgery of brain tissue removal with the hope that you're going to eliminate seizures without having a good idea where that target is. And um, only a handful of centers have those kinds of resources. First, patients undergo a number of highly sophisticated imaging studies and tests which UAB physicians have helped develop and refine. So it's like a needle in a haystack. So that was our challenge in the beginning was to figure out as best we could where the seizures were coming from, um, at least to estimate that very carefully and also have a, an idea of whether that area was away from critical parts of the brain. In the more complex cases, invasive monitoring is needed before surgery. Neurosurgeon Dr. Kristen Riley explains how intracranial electrodes were used on Stacy to pinpoint the area causing the seizures. We open the skull up and we place the electrodes directly on the brain. This uh, example here is a patient who's had a study while they were having a seizure and it indicates a hot spot that we think the seizures are coming from. So in the operating room, we have a computer image guided system that allows us to center these electrodes directly over the area of concern. We put the electrodes over the brain, we close everything up, and then the patients go to our monitoring unit. It allows us then to record seizures, to map out exactly where the seizures come from, and then to test the area around the area of seizure onset to see if we can safely do a surgery to cut out the area of seizure onset. Once we have that information, the patient goes back to the operating room for a second surgery, usually three to five days after the first. We take the electrodes out and then cut out the part of the brain where the seizures were coming from. And then most patients go home the next day. The surgery takes three to four hours and the results are remarkable. For temporal lobe epilepsy, 85% of patients are seizure-free after surgery. And for epilepsy outside the temporal lobe, there is a 50% success rate. UAB does about 50 of these surgeries every year. We've been doing epilepsy surgery here for over two decades. We um, currently are one of the top five busiest epilepsy surgery centers in the country. And most often the comments that we get from patients are, I wish I'd done this a long time ago. Returning to driving, going back to employment, um, just being free of that fear that a seizure can strike at any time is invaluable. You know, everyone from the technicians to your doctor and your surgeon, they really have taken a personal approach to my case. And so that really means a lot and you're not just a number. Life is really good. I feel very, very blessed and um, I've really done a 180.